Greetings from Florida. We're working on a Nissan Titan 2004 to 2019. This is the left front, the driver's front. It's not that complicated. You've got a switch housing right there. You're going to pop that off and plug it. You've got a cover right there, 10 millimeter bolt. Take off the plastic panel behind it. There's another 10 millimeter bolt. Take off the light, the courtesy light at the bottom of the door. Um, unplug that. You're gonna pop off with a small flathead screwdriver that cover right there. There's two 10 millimeter bolts behind that. If this video helps you out, do me a favor, just like the video. No money required. Just go ahead and hit like on the video. You're going to pop off the armrest. Comes right off. Uh, there's a possibility you might break off one of the clips on the bottom, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. Those clips right there. 10 millimeter bolt behind that. That should do it. Pull out the door panel. You can lift it up. And there's the two wires right there. Remember to put those back on when you're done. You're not going to have to open your door. So remember to put those back on when you're done. I'm going to take off the plastic so you can see what's going on. I'm taking off the speaker as well. I don't need to, but I'm just taking it off so I can get around the plastic, around the, the moisture barrier. When you put the new motor in, and that's usually what's involved in this, sometimes you got to glue the clips. If you have to glue the clips back to the glass, 3M Structural Adhesive. That's the stuff you want to use, not JB Weld. 3M Structural Adhesive. Um, when you put the new motor in, you may find that it starts coming down when it hits the top, that um, anti-pinch mechanism inside the motor. If that's the case, you can try to reset it by holding your finger on the button, putting the window all the way up, and continue to hold your finger on the button for 10 seconds after it's up, and then do the reverse, put it all the way down, and continue to hold your finger on the button for 10 seconds after it's already down. That should reset it for you. There's also a black button on the motor that you can access through the door panel right here. Um, I'm not showing it to you right now. You'll see it. It's over where the motor is, where you can do the same thing if that's an issue. You can put the, you can hold that button in and put the window all the way down. If that doesn't work, return the motor and get another one. Um, I am taking off the two 10 millimeter clips. I'm banging the motor just to get it to work again which a lot of times if you bang it, it'll work again. Yeah, I took off that speaker just so I could get to that 10 millimeter bolt. Little WD-40, two side channels, up and down, lightly. They dry out and cause the glass to grab, a little devil to you. Put the glass up, put your suction cup on it, or you can use blue or green painter's tape to hold it in place if you'd like. 10 millimeter bolts all around. And you probably don't have to take out both sides of this if you don't want to. You could just take off that one side there that I'm working on. I don't know if I'm going to take out the whole thing or not. I don't think I am. I think I'm just taking out that one side. Uh, 5 16 bolts hold the motor to the regulator. So let's get a 5 16 socket, which... I probably went to get something else. I'm not sure what I went to get. You might find these on my website, upanddownmainstreet.com. I have my 516 socket. Um, I don't know if I gave you a good visual there, probably not, but you've got three 516 bolts. Note the orientation as to how it goes in, because it's gonna go back in the same way, obviously, and it might get a little confusing for you. So you might wanna take a photo of it with your camera before you take the old motor off or look at it carefully, um, but you want it to go back on exactly the same way. It's not that complicated. Little WD-40 there. Putting the new motor on. Didn't give you any visual on that, but it's it's not that complicated. It only goes on one way. A 
I took it out so you could see. It was very kind of me. So you get those bolts right there and there, and then a little WD-40 on the channels, on the regulator. Good idea. Back in it goes. Put those bolts back in. Yeah, I forgot to pull the wiring harness out there, so I had to back that off to get it through that opening. Let's bring the glass down. We'll get the 10 millimeter bolts back through the glass clips, through the, the clips on the regulator into the clips on the glass. And I just took that off because now I'm pretty comfortable that I can put the panel back on going to put the moisture barrier back on that keeps condensation from coming towards the door panel. It doesn't do much. When you buy the Cadillacs and the Lincolns, you get nice thick sound baffling, but on this you're getting just a, a small, thin moisture barrier. And I don't think I have to describe anything else to you. The rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, again, if you need to reset the motor, you're going to hold it after everything's back together. You're going to put the window down and continue to hold it down for 10 seconds after the window's already down. Then bring it up, continue to hold it up for 10 seconds after the glass is already up. That should reset your motor. If it doesn't, take the panel back off. There's a black button on the motor that's accessible through the metal panel. You're going to do the same thing while holding that black button. If neither of those work, you'll need to get a different motor. So keep that in mind. And once more, if this was helpful for you, do me a favor. Please like the video. That would help me a lot. It helps other people who are looking for the same thing on YouTube find it. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. If you have any questions, ask them right here on YouTube. I'd be glad to answer them.